Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I am so excited to share with you all a quick flip through of my 8th week and 9th week in my Hobonichi weeks for 2023 as well as a big reveal of my latest partnership with the Ferris Wheel Press. So if you all are interested in hearing about some of the items I've been absolutely loving, uh, interested in a 10% discount code from Ferris Wheel Press as well as seeing a quick plan with me in this 9th week here, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Before we get right into this video, I did want to take this quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to join me today. As always, I very much appreciate your time and if you enjoy this video, I would very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and of course, making sure you're subscribed. <laughs> Um, if you would too, also go check out my Instagram channel. I will leave it in the uh, somewhere on the screen here, as well as the description box down below. I like to correlate or find ways to correlate um, the content from my YouTube channel into Instagram. That's one of my goals in 23 is to bring you some, I guess, exclusive shots of behind the scenes and other things that I'm working on. I think uh, last week or so I posted some. Um, photos of my two kitties while I was studying. So sometimes I'm a little too busy to, um, I guess, film and post a video, but I can definitely put shorts and things up on there. Ready, friends? So I'm super excited. Ferris Wheel Press is actually the first fountain pen company and ink that I've ever had and ever used and probably started the whole obsession with fountain pens and uh, things like that. So today what I will actually be doing is loading some of this ink here from their March release um, into I believe I'm thinking my Pilot Vanishing Point pen with the F nib so that I can populate some information for Monday and Tuesday of the ninth week here. So my dear friend Carly that I talk about very often uh, was actually the one that gifted me this charger set here along with one of their uh, very affordable fountain pens. Um, it was my very first one. I was super excited and she also gifted me this ink right here as well, Stroke of Midnight. I love the packaging. That's why I have it included around uh, my planner here so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Um, love the way it performs as well and I'm planning on probably doing quite a bit of swatching of these inks in the months to come. I uh, love, look how cute this is. Like how do you not it was, she's such a great gifter. Um, you guys asked me questions about my mug. She got me that mug as well. <laughs> uh, but this is just one of many wonderful gifts that she uh, gave me probably over a year ago now. And so can you imagine just opening this up with a fountain pen and that really large, <laughs> I think it's, let's see, is it 38 milliliter um, ink here? And just kind of having fun and experimenting with my Hobonichi planner in 2022 and all of the other things too. This performs really well as well on like Midori paper. I love my Midori MD paper and notebooks. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing uh, or using, sorry, when I do swatches of this. Ferris Wheel Press has a bunch of other items as well, like notebooks that I haven't tested out myself yet. Um, if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will leave a link in the description box down below. The discount code for 10% off your next order is is Katie, K-A-T-I-E, super simple. I think they just try to keep it nice and short and sweet. Um, so I'll leave that all down below if you're interested. So what I wanted to cover actually today are the inks um, surrounding here. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just kind of get this one out of the way because I, will, I plan on using this towards the end of the video to populate these two days here. Um, so this one, I believe they're both launching on March or releasing on March 3rd. So I hope to get this video out before then. Um, and if I do, you can get this for yourself on their website. Um, link down below. It's called The Fluttering Heart. And um, it's their newest addition to Everyday Ink Collection. It's the 38 milliliter. Mine actually spilled a little bit on, in transit, but that's a-okay. Um, and you can kind of see it here. It's so beautiful. Look at this. And so I'm going to just shake it up a little bit so you can kind of see some of the characteristics. I am actually waiting right now for a dip pen, the Kakimori, Kakimori uh, dip pen to arrive. It actually came from, I think, Amsterdam. <laughs> Uh, so and it's stuck somewhere in Jersey and we just got snow today. So in New York City um, So I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take. I thought I'd share it with you all But I will definitely do a video or short or something um, To show you what it looks like on paper. So that's one here I'm gonna set this aside and then go through this flip through so we can talk about and start using this one <laughs> Alrighty, so for the 
eighth week here I actually covered probably in two previous videos but what I really wanted to cover here is that I've been absolutely loving this these natural tones like muted and of course been inspired mostly by nature so we're now <laughs> before today it was pretty cold but it was getting warmer in some days so i was getting really excited for the spring i already started my seeds i'll see if i can um, include a clip of that here so i have my snap peas that have already uh, sprouted and started growing they're probably like three inches at least now i'm gonna start having to stake them out a little bit <laughs> uh, because they're going to be a lot more mature than the or ready before the ground is ready and for me to transplant it outside so i'm a little worried about them getting a little lanky <laughs> um but yes yeah, so i've been absolutely absolutely uh inspired by nature and these natural tones so i paired i drew inspiration from this midori cutout sticky note that i picked up off jet pens i just used my hobonichi basic stencil and uh, my midori paintable stamp here to create a priority to task list i guess as well as a habit tracker slash running task list here that's somewhat organized into homework and cleaning so you see that here I actually use this craft brown paper sticker paper that I can try to find on Amazon and link it down below from online labels to cover up a boo-boo <laughs> Um, I actually stamped out nature using my alphabet stamps from Amazon um, down below it and then didn't like the way it turned out. It didn't, I didn't get very good contact. Um, so what I did was just use this little strip here to cover it up. Um, this is a sticky club sticker. I'm trying to see. I think it was this only this spread. Sticky club sticker. They came from the same sheet. I love them here. So sweet. I thought they tied in pretty well. And then I, as you can see from this left column here, it was a very, very busy week. I had tons of homework to do. Uh, I spent two days in class and I had an application due for school. So this honestly should have been in purple, but we did have President's Day off. So that was great. I just used some of my DIY planner stickers here that I used my Cricut machine to make um, early on in, I guess, before 23 in late 2022 to prepare and set up my planners so, so that's what i have here um and then let's go right into oh before we go right into the ninth week i did want to cover these two stickers here so i actually didn't post the unboxing of some happy mail that i received but thank you so much yana if you're out there and watching i received another packet of happy mail that i actually included on my instagram um i think in a reel <laughs> and also a post that i was it's so sweet from Yana in Hanover, I think, Germany. And uh, it's I thought it was so sweet because these stickers are the 2023 Hobonichi. Oh, sorry, here we go. Let's see. So it matches my Hobonichi weeks, and uh, she knew that from watching this channel as well as um, the freebie I think that 1101 gives out for all of the or with every planner that you order on their site. So I thought that was so sweet. I love the way they feel and just threw them down here to kind of fill in that gap. And remember that I actually received that happy mail around the beginning half of this week. Here. All right, so that takes us into this ninth week. Um, if I'm being really honest, a lot of this spread was determined by the fact that I had to cover up yet another boo-boo here. I don't really know. I think um, the pressure of filming a plan with me really gets to me. And in doing so, I messed up the priorities header. And so I ended up using my Daiso Tombow correction tape here to cover it up and then used one of these uh, sticky notes. Let's see if I can grab it um, From Muji these craft brown sticky notes that I have down here to just cover it up um, And then I kind of ripped it. I used some of my Tombow adhesive to anchor it down So it's not just flopping around and then as you can see I went also very wild with uh, all of my Midori sticky notes here Um and yeah, so I'll talk a little bit more about that as well. I also had to cover up a boo-boo here. So I have another one of these sticky notes that I've been using pretty often, honestly, often to cover up boo-boos. <laughs> and then some of my DIY planner stickers to mark some appointments in the earlier half of the week. 
All right, so these stickers are actually from the Sticky Club and to tell you a little bit about why it was a little down today and this week was because, as you can see here, one of my goals was to go to Go Wild in DC for 2023. It's actually taking place March 2nd to the 5th. I will not be going, very sadly, but please feel free to let me know if you're going um, and what I missed out on <laughs> down in the description box down below, or sorry, in the comment section down below because I'd love to hear um, all the amazing things. I will be definitely keeping an eye out for some videos. It would have been my very first time. I've been dying to go since last year. I think it was in SoCal, um, but I didn't really plan ahead and I've been so busy with grad school and uh, partnerships and things that I thought it would be most prudent not to try to go last minute and <laughs> so I will be missing out. I am really sad because DC is a city that I feel the most comfortable in outside of New York City. I don't think that opportunity will ever come back again, um, but yeah. Anyway, so a little sad about that. That's why I stuck the sticker here because when I set up the spread, I thought I would be going to DC. So I figured I didn't really need um, the space here. <laughs> but now that I won't be going, I'll probably have to stick uh, sticky notes either on top or just populate that information over here. I will say I'm noticing that there's a lot of ghosting with this pen that I used. I don't actually, I'm trying to think. I think that this is the Caveco uh, ink in Midnight. I don't even remember what it's called here. So that's definitely something I will have to consider when I'm, um, I guess, doing that in the future. That does look really, really harsh, right? Am I crazy? Um, but anyways, and I think it's paired with my Pilot Vanishing Point pen with the EF nib. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, other than this parties list here and all these fun things that I randomly threw on down. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play around with this ink. I want to tell you a little bit about it first and then um, just do a quick plan with me. So this is the Cloak in Forest uh, ink and let's see, I love that it includes like this wonderful, beautiful packaging. How exciting because she has like this little red cape here and a little description here. And I also love that over here they tell you all about... <laughs> Uh, the things that I wouldn't really know how to express to you anyway. So the base is green, the sheen is red, the shimmer is silver, and the shading is low. And it recommends somewhere in this box that you use a broad nib, medium to broad nib or dip pens. So I think I mentioned, I don't know if I did, that I ordered dip pens um, and I'm waiting for them to come in. It's the Kakimori dip pens. I ordered both the uh, steel nib because it's more fine tipped as well as the glass nib, but the glass nib is like MIA. I don't know when that's going to come. And so I hope to share that with you all very soon. I just want to show you how beautiful this is. So this one is the 20 milliliter and I just, I love it. Just look at the packaging of this and how cute. Um, I don't really know if I should, am I supposed to keep this box? I probably will. Um, and check it out. So today we're going to use that Pilot Vanishing Point pen. So let me go grab a paper towel and load this bad boy up. Alrighty, so let's see if I can do this without making a big old mess. So I'm going to shake her up a little bit and kind of prepare my fountain pen here. Ooh, hello. And let's see. So this is the F nib that I have today. Um, I like to keep my Deatramentis ink in my other vanishing point pen. I should probably move the weeks out of the way because it has a fabric cover with no cover on top of it. So just in case there's anything crazy, look how cute this is. I love this. Okay, and let's just go for it. Fully submerge, plunge it a couple times. Alright. I think I'm getting something. Um, <laughs> hope so. Wow, this is beautiful. Honestly, this looks a little blue. I was expecting like a green, but maybe it will surprise me. Ooh, okay, it's like a greenish blue. I love that. All right, I didn't get as much as I would have liked, but that is a-okay. Um, and please don't mind the uh, stain on my hand. I have definitely stabbed myself quite a few times, very sadly. <laughs> 
using this and let's see okay using this pen actually it's been with the e nib oh wow that's so beautiful and you can kind of see just how consistent it is. I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna go right ahead and update this guy here. So let me see if I can find my... writing board here. So I have my Hobonichi writing board. I'll put that bad boy here so you can kind of see. And I have my little ball nose clip. Just clip them down and then just update this. So, did I read and study? Kind of. I met with my my group yesterday as well. So we went. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow, this is gorgeous. And what I love about it too is that this is a thicker nib as opposed to um the ef nib it took me a while to get used to it because i write so small i didn't think i would like it but i'm loving it went to h mart for some groceries because it was about to snow and then today i am filming so Oh my gosh, I am in love with this ink. Absolutely in love. I don't know how it's giving definite, some, definitely some green and blue tones. I mean, you can kind of see it on my skin too that it's more green than I would have expected. And let's see, edit and film. Work on Costco. Oh. I definitely should be careful with this. And then last one is going to be call grandma. So I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay, beautiful. I love that so, so much. Okay, so I have training at six tonight and then I wanna see what else I have going on. I think that that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna have a group meeting this time day two but I don't know what time so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just let that I'm gonna leave a spot for the time that we're gonna meet and then write group meeting empty that's good enough here and then I'm gonna fill that in once I figure out what time we're supposed to meet um, then we're going to take a look here and see what I can mark off. Training, uh -huh. reading, Costco. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much I can do. Um, I do want to probably journal a little bit here. And so I will do that.
Thank you.